let me speak to our English-speaking friends. Actually, if you visit the Philippines, you don't have to worry about communicating because most of us can speak basic English. Basic, understandable, but sometimes broken. For example, if you're looking for someone, you might ask, Did you see my friend? And we might answer, Oh, she just passed away. Don't worry, she's probably not dead. What we actually mean is that she just passed by and went away. So I guess Tagalog could come in handy. And good news, all you have to learn is the Filipino alphabet. Then you're done with the basics. Look, A is the first letter of our alphabet. You heard that right. That is pronounced A. When someone's trying to explain something and you finally understand it, Americans say, oh. We say, ah. The second one is pronounced ba. If you double it, you get baba. That means down. Baba ba means going down. And baba baba is asking, are we? Or is it going down? See, with just two letters in your arsenal, you can now converse in Tagalog. Baba baba, baba ba. Ah. Although it sounds primitive right now, don't worry. We got more letters for you. We don't have a C. Instead, we have K. It is same as your K, which means OK in a passive-aggressive text. Let us use your pronunciation for D. It's also a passive-aggressive way of saying no in Filipino. Like, galit ka ba? Or, are you mad? She might answer, D. Or, nope. She's saying she's not mad, but you know how it goes. When she starts replying with just one letter, you better prepare for war. This one is pronounced eh. Usually used during grown-up tantrums. Like, if she wants to go to the mall, but you want to stay home instead, she might protest by saying, eh. But if she agrees, she might say G, short for game, meaning she's game. The next letter is pronounced ha. If you can hear what she just said, just say ha. Huh? It's pretty universal. Americans say ha. Huh? Other Asians say ha. Huh? This one is pronounced e. But for the sake of this memory aid, let us use your pronunciation again, which we spell and pronounce as I. And that loosely translates to oops. With the same function, usually to preface a mild accident, like I, accidente nagpakasal sa iba. Or, oops, she accidentally got married to someone else. La. Back to the passive-aggressive letters. This one means nothing. If you ask, ano problema? Or, what's the problem? You prepare for war when she says, la. Ma. This one's pretty universal too. As mother, we say ma. Other Asians say ma. Na. It's used to emphasize now. Like, tara na. Or, let's go now. Sometimes we overemphasize by saying, Now na, enye. In the Filipino alphabet, this letter is the most useless. It only appears in the surnames of friends that are difficult to tag when you're on a laptop. Nga. This is probably difficult for you to pronounce, but say it with me. Nga. Say it twice. Nga, nga. And you just did it. You just did the nga, nga which means to open your mouth. Some of us use it to describe someone who's in disbelief. Like when someone loses big money in a bet, you may call him nga nga. Oh, a passive-aggressive way of saying so, or so what? Like, ang cute ng pusa, oh. or the cat is so cute. If she says, oh, do not move a muscle, she's not in the mood. Pa means father. Pa, Q. We don't have a Q, but we do have banana Q, sometimes spelled banana Q. It's a banana barbecue, and we're not joking. Ra. You've seen tara earlier, meaning let's go. Ra is just the shorter version. If you're really excited to go, just say ra 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 ra. Repeat up to the point where everyone panics and finally moves. Ra 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 ra. S. Let's save S for later. Ta. Can also be used instead of ra. It works the same way. Ta 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 ta. You is same as your you, which means you. Here na me, where na you, W. I'm also saving this for later because it's too cute. X. We don't have an X, 
We forget the excess, but think about it at night. Why? For your memory aid, let us use your pronunciation again. Our why is same as your why. Why? Why be? Why ga? Why love? Why nak? Why po? But for the really sophisticated ones who can afford to buy more letters, why pose? And we don't have a Z. Who needs Zs anyway? We don't even pronounce it in rendezvous. And finally, as promised, let's put S and W together. This can be used to summon a cute Filipino cat. Just say, There you go. It's not formal, but who needs formal anyway? Come visit the Philippines. Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta.